There's not much that can make me feel cozier on a rainy, chilly Saturday than a bowl of warm soup. So since today's that kind of day, I'm going to be making an autumn squash soup. Now what I particularly am pleased with with this soup is that we grew the squash and we raised the turkeys that were turned into turkey broth. And I didn't realize before I became a farmer, homesteader person, what joy that would bring me knowing that the food that I'm eating is something I grew. I knew it would be more healthy for you. I knew it would be more organic. The turkey broth is all made with ingredients that I can pronounce and I made it so I know exactly what's in it. No preservatives or anything like that. I just froze it after I was done making it. But I didn't realize that it would be such a joy to sit down and eat something and feel the satisfaction of, I made this. I grew this from a seed. I raised these turkeys from chicks and now they're nourishing my body. That's an amazing feeling of a job well done. And I hope that you get to experience that, that as you learn to homestead and as you learn to farm, that you begin to eat food that you've raised. It's, it's an amazing satisfaction. This isn't my own recipe. This comes from platedcravings.com and I will be sure to put a link to it in the description so that in case I miss any steps or anything like that, you can go and read it. She's got directions for Instapot, for a slow cooker, and for stovetop. I'm gonna be doing the stovetop method today with just one little variation which I will let you know about as we go along. The recipe has just a few simple ingredients. We've got a medium-sized butternut squash, a medium apple, a medium onion, four tablespoons of butter, and four cups of chicken broth, and salt and pepper. And I'm going to use two apples because my apples are kind of on the small side. It's been about six weeks since I started dieting, trying to eat more healthy, trying to lose a little weight, you know, get rid of some aches and pains that I've been feeling. And so I thought that while I make this soup, we could kind of catch up on that and see how it's going. So far, I'm down four pounds. And the changes that I've been ma making so far are pretty minimal. Um, I'm trying to cut out some of the processed foods, sugary drinks like sweet tea and soda. But Chris and I went to the movies last night and I did have soda there. Uh, but just trying to eat a lot more cook from scratch type meals, less things out of boxes, fewer trips through the drive-thru. I don't like the way I feel. When I eat junky, I can really feel it the next day. Uh, used to be, I couldn't really tell a difference, but that might have been because I ate junky all the time. It might have also been because of my age. Um, I am, how old am I? I'm gonna be 49 in December, so I'm, I'm coming up on that 50 year old mark and um, you know, I got some aches and pains that I didn't used to have. I've got some creaky bones that I didn't used to have. <laughs> I get stiffer than I used to. So when I eat right, when I eat fresh whole food, I can really tell a difference right away in the way that I'm feeling. I've lost four pounds since I started this and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, my clothes are starting to fit a little better. I, I feel better. And it's four pounds I didn't gain, right? I still have a long ways to go, but as long as I keep making downward progress, even though it's slow, I'm okay with that. This isn't about losing a lot of quick weight quickly. This is about getting healthier, getting um, the weight off of me so that my body can function better. It'll be easier on my knees and my back. And so that's kind of what I'm focusing on is just making small changes uh, that will have lasting effects, hopefully. And things that I'll be able to keep up long term. So the first step in this recipe is to dice the onions and the apples. These onions are making me cry a little bit. This onion is really strong. When I was growing up, I didn't care much for soups. I'm not sure exactly why. As an adult, 
I think they're one of my favorite foods now. And the idea of a squash soup, I used to kind of think was gross, like eating pumpkin. You know, if it wasn't in a pie, why bother, right? But uh, I discovered this squash soup. I actually had some out at um, a restaurant and it was so good. I loved it so much that now I have learned how to make some on my own. And I think I, I have a couple that I really like. Uh, I have another one that's a curry one that has pumpkin and curry in it that I really like and coconut milk and this one. And I think what I really love about this one is the apples. I want to say thanks to Chris for sharpening all of our knives. It makes it so much easier to do any of these tasks now that we have a sharp knife. The recipe says to peel and cube your squash and then you cook it down in the soup as the soup is cooking. But I have found that I have a much easier way of cooking butternut squash and really any kind of squash. Take your fresh squash, wash it all off, stick it in the crock pot for eight hours on low. Look at that, it's super, super tender. And all you have to do is scoop the seeds out and then scoop the flesh right into whatever you're cooking. It's the perfect way to do it for pies, for canning, for soups, anything like that. I'm gonna throw the seeds of this away, but I'm gonna save the skins for the dogs. The dogs absolutely love this butternut squash skin. I think we're ready to move to the stove. <sighs> I'm a little frustrated right now. I just, realize that after I moved the camera, I did all the cooking part of this video without pressing the record button. So we can't do this step by step. The, I actually, like the pit of my stomach hurts. It's one of those things where it's like, wow, you're killing me. So I'm gonna just kind of tell you what I did. We'll take a look at where we are now and we will go from there. The first thing that I did was saute the onions in one tablespoon of butter for roughly two to three minutes until they were slightly clear and a little browned. And then I added in the chopped apple and I sauteed them for another minute, minute to two minutes until the apples were a little bit brown and softened. Then you add in the remaining butter, three tablespoons worth, salt and pepper to season it a little bit. Then I put in the butternut squash and stirred that in a little bit, let it kind of get a little bit browned, and then I added the turkey broth. Brought it all to a boil, stirred it a little bit, and then you, um, so you want enough broth for to cover the squash, especially if it's cut in cubes and it's not softened because you want it to all cook down. After you bring it to a boil, you're gonna let it simmer until all the ingredients are soft. So if you have uh, raw squash in there, it may take longer, 30 or 40 minutes, but I started with cooked squash out of the crock pot and so it, I'm going to check it in about 15 minutes and that's where we're at right now. I have a confession. I love dishes. If I had the space for them, I would have dishes for every season and for every holiday. I just love them. Probably since we've been married 26 years now, um, we've probably had 10 or 12 different Different sets of dishes. Some women like to have a lot of shoes. I like to have dishes and I like mixing bowls and serving bowls and all the things, all the dishes. Once all the veggies are soft, the next thing you do is either use an immersion blender in the pot or if you don't have one, then like me, you can use a regular blender or a food processor. I almost can't wait for this to cool down. It's so good. But I don't want to burn myself. That's got such a nice flavor to it. So at this point, I usually top it with a little bit of sour cream maybe some toasted pumpkin seeds if I have them, and salt and pepper if needed, and it's done. So it's a great five ingredient fall recipe. 
What is your favorite fall recipe? Be sure and leave a comment down below and let me know what you like to make on a rainy, chilly fall day. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.